name is Artastic and today we're going to make some spring art. Let's get started. Alright guys, let's draw a spring composition. We're going to take a pencil first and we're going to lightly print the letters or the word for spring on our paper and you can put your letters at different heights. So draw a spring. Okay, so different sizes, different heights. And now we're going to switch to a marker and we're going to draw a frame or border around our letters. We're going to make them nice and thick. Okay, I'm going to come back to that P. Okay, when you do your P and R, you need to add like a letter D in the inside. Once you got your letters done, you need to take your eraser and remove the pencil. Make sure when you're erasing, you use your other hand or something to anchor the paper with or it will move with your eraser. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do some Zen Doodles. Start off on the S and you're going to draw some zigzag lines down the S. In the P, we're going to do a pattern of line, then circles line, circles, line, and some circles. In the R, we're going to do some simple stripes across. In the I, we're going to do hatching lines, so do vertical, then horizontal. For vertical, for horizontal and then underneath you're going to do the opposite so if you had horizontal you're going to put vertical lines underneath okay in the end we're going to add some curving rainbow shapes. And in the G, some swirls. Now because this is this is a spring composition, we need to add some spring elements. So at the bottom, you can go ahead and add some patches of grass. It is spring after all. You can add in the corner an umbrella. peeking out from underneath that S, or from behind the S. Below you can add some flowers, 
really anything that you can think of that represents spring. I'm also going to add a cloud and we're going to have some raindrops fall from it. To finish it up, we're going to color our piece. You can use whatever you want to color with. I'm going to use some wax crayons, but feel free to use any art mediums you have available at home or in your classroom.
so once you're done coloring, your spring drawing is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.